this is Humble Hus. I'm so glad you're here. We will crochet a colorful bonnet today and I will try to go as slow as possible so that even a beginner can follow along. Here is what you'll need. Four different colors of yarn, whichever colors you want to use, it's fine. I will be using Peyton's Grace yarn today. This is a light three and the recommended hook size is a 3.75 millimeter. This is a crochet hook and that is the size I'll be using, a 3.75 millimeter. If you don't have this size, just uh, if you happen to have a 3.5 or a 4 millimeter, that's fine. Be a little tighter or loose yarn needles. As long as they have a big eye, they will work. And stitch markers. If you don't have a stitch marker, use paper clips and of course scissors start by making a magic ring if you don't know how to do it we will start with the light colored yarn which is going to go on the back of the head hold the yarn the end of the yarn to your left and take two fingers and go with the yarn twice around them so that you have two yarns on the back of your fingers insert your hook under the first yarn then pull that second yarn forward, twist it, and turn. Now holding on to everything, you will take this off your fingers, like that. You have this yarn over here, here's the loose end, okay. and then carefully, without letting go of anything, you will chain two. Put your hook under the yarn, twist, and pull through that first loop, and now pull again through that loop. So there's two chains. Now into this ring, do 12 double crochets. You yarn over on your hook, you insert into your ring, yarn over, pull up a loop. You will have three loops on your hook. Then yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two loops again yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through the first two loops yarn over pull through the last two loops so there you have two and you need to do 10 more here are my 12 double crochets i've gone ahead and put a stitch marker at the very first double crochet that we did so that you can see where your next stitch will go into so not the chain of two but that first double crochet you are going to pull on this loose end to close the ring into this stitch we will work one double crochet yarn over insert your hook you can take this one off now and you will insert your stitch marker into this double crochet so that when you go around you know where you started. Since we will be doing increases in this round, you will need to do another double crochet into that same stitch. Into each of the following stitches, you have to do two double crochets into the same stitch. That will give you a total of 24 double crochets at the end of this round. Do a double crochet into the stitch with the stitch marker. Add your stitch marker. And into that same stitch, do another double crochet. The next stitch will be one double crochet. And the next stitch will be two double crochets into the same stitch. Go all the way around and you should have 36 stitches at the end of this round. Row number three should have ended with one double crochet into that last stitch. For row number four, do a double crochet into that stitch with the stitch marker. 
add your stitch marker and do another double crochet into that same stitch into the next stitch we will only do one double crochet into the next stitch also only one double crochet and the next stitch two double crochets into that same stitch at the end you should have 48 stitches for row number five again we will do a double crochet into that first stitch with the stitch marker take it out and put it over here now do a double crochet again into that same stitch and for the next three stitches we will do one double crochet into each and at the end of this round you should have 60 double crochets for round number six again double crochet into the stitch with the stitch marker take it out and add it over here do another double crochet into that same stitch and for the next four stitches we will do one double crochet into each until you have 72 stitches at the end of this round starting row number seven do a double crochet into that stitch with the stitch marker take it out and add it up here you probably guessed it we're going to do another double crochet into that same stitch into the next five stitches you will do one double crochet into each you should have 84 stitches at the end of this round after you are done with row number seven you will slip stitch where the stitch marker is insert your hook and do a this slip stitch now you can take off the stitch marker you will chain one and into the same stitch do a half double crochet so yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through all three loops add your stitch marker right here from this point on we're going to count six stitches backwards so do not count the one that you just made we will start here one two three four five and six add a stitch marker now we will continue on this side this next stitch you're going to skip it into the one right next to that we are going to do one single crochet then one half double crochet into the same one so yarn over and one double crochet also into that same stitch yarn over now skip two stitches one and two and then into the third one you will do you will repeat the same steps one single crochet one half double crochet 
and one double crochet. Repeat, skip two. I will meet you at the other end of the stitch marker. When you have made it to the, to the next stitch marker, you can remove it. You will skip that stitch and into the next one, do a half double crochet. Now chain one and turn. This is where we are going to switch colors. I will use the lavender, basically, so color B. And we want to do a half double crochet into this stitch. You see right there? You start by yarning over with the old color. Insert your hook, and instead of taking the old color, grab the new one, pull it through, and finish off that half double crochet with the new color. Add your stitch marker here. And now we proceed with the new color into the next stitch. We will do one single crochet. Chain three. Skip one stitch. And then into the next stitch, do a double crochet. Yarn over. Into the next stitch, do one single crochet, chain three again, skip one stitch, and into the next one, do a double crochet. You will repeat this pattern all the way until you get to the next stitch marker. Your last stitches on this row should look like this. You should have ended with a double crochet right in front of the stitch that has the stitch marker. And by the way, I forgot to tell you, you can cut off that yarn, that first yarn. We will thread these in at the end. Into the stitch with the stitch marker, we will do one half double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook, and pull through all three. Now chain one and turn. Into this stitch, we will do another half double crochet, but we will switch colors here. Just like last time, you start your half double crochet as usual, insert your hook, then take the new color, pull it through, and now finish that half double crochet as usual with the new color, and insert your stitch marker, right here. Again, you can cut off this purple, this lavender one. We will now work into these spaces. One single crochet, chain three, one double crochet. Repeat. One single crochet, chain three, one double crochet. Until you get to the next stitch marker, you will repeat the same steps. We are back over on this end, now done with color C. Into the stitch marker, we will do a half double crochet. A chain one and turn and into this stitch right here we will start oh, I hope you could see it right there uh, we will start our usual half double crochet 
but we will switch colors so to go to color D and pull it through now we finish off with this new color add your stitch marker over here and you can cut off color C we are working into these spaces again start with one single crochet chain three and one double crochet repeat this pattern until you get to the other stitch marker once you're done with the row of color D do a half double crochet into that last stitch where the stitch marker is take out the stitch marker chain one and turn now we will be switching back to color A, a yarn over and insert your hook into this first stitch right here. Now switch the color and finish that half double crochet with the new color. Add your stitch marker. I wonder what my microphone sounds like now because I switched uh, my desk to a new place. It seems to me like there might be a little bit more echo. As you can tell, now you'll be switching between these colors. We will continue to repeat these rows until you have three of the same color. And you should end with color A. I just feel it looks nice. You know, since the back of the bonnet is that color, I think it looks nice if the front of the bonnet is also that same color. Into these spaces we will do the following. One single crochet, one half double crochet, one double crochet, another half double crochet, and another single crochet. Repeat that. You will repeat this all the way around until you get to the stitch marker. At the end of this final border, do your half double crochet as usual into that stitch with the stitch marker. Chain one. We can now take out the stitch marker and we will create a border around the bottom of the bonnet while threading these loose ends in. We will work with single crochets and you need to work into as many stitches as you possibly can. I know it is hard to see because they're not all even. I'm going to add my stitch marker here again just to remind myself. The next stitch you can do it into here like that. That's my third stitch. Now I will pull these loose ends up, up once, and I should be able to make two stitches in here. Go into, into that first part through both loops, grab the two loose ends and do move them to the side towards where you're working and do a regular single crochet again. Insert your hook into the next stitch. Okay, right there. Hold on to the loose ends and do a regular single crochet again. Simply keep going. We have reached the stitch marker once again. Let's do our last single crochet into that one. You can take it out. This time we chain two and turn and we will do double crochets into all of these stitches. So yarn over and insert your hook not into the same one but into the one right next to it okay and do a double crochet insert your stitch marker here and repeat do this until you get to the other stitch marker You will chain 45, which will be the band of the bonnet. 
or one of them. When you come to the bottom, we will go back. But instead of going into this loop right here, you will twist your band a little bit and go into the back loop. Do you see? This would be just the front, then if you twist it, you go into this band right here. It just gives it a little bit of a different look. And since you chained 45, you should have 44 on your way back. I am almost all the way back up here, and this is stitch number 43. Remember, so you chained 45, you're supposed to have 44 on the way back. This is 43, and normally I would go into this back one. Let me get it closer. Instead, we are going to go into this front loop and do that last single crochet. Okay, because I want to be back here at the front and into this post, this stitch right here, I will slip stitch and chain one. The next stitches we will do double crochet stitches but we will work them one through the front of your work one through the back of your work one through the front of your work one through the back so alternating stitches the way you do that so you already have this first post right here skip that then into the second post you start your double crochet go in between those two posts and behind the post yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through the first two loops yarn over pull through the last two loops now the next one so you yarn over go through the back of your work between the posts around it and complete the double crochet. The next one is through the front of your work. And now behind your work. Do this until you reach the other stitch marker. Now that I have reached my last pose right where the stitch marker is I will make a slip stitch into that space where the stitch marker was and now I will chain 45 and of course go back through that loop on the back so not front turn your chain and through that loop and do 44 single crochet this is Single, the single crochet number 43. Now I will do number 44, but this time I'm not gonna turn the chain. We will slip stitch into this stitch. There you have it. Now fasten off. Let's cut off your yarn. Pull it through this loop and thread in this yarn. The way to thread in your yarn is you just grab your yarn needle and then go back and forth. You do the same with this one on the back. You are done with this bonnet. Good job. I'm glad you stuck through it. I know your child will look beautiful in it. Thank you for joining me. Please subscribe. Get notified of the newest videos. Follow me on Instagram at HumbleHas. Share your projects with me. I would love to see what you're doing. I will see you next time here at HumbleHas. Bye.